the word in the Greek menine, which is to remain, to stay. You can also translate where do you live, where do you remain? And it really ends with remain in my love. He who, she who eats my body and drinks my blood will remain in me and I'll remain in, in that person. So it's about remaining. But then, then we discover something else. That if someone loves me, says Jesus, they'll keep my word. The Father will love them and we will come and make our home in that person. So the word menai is home. It's to remain. It's to be with. So it's the discovery, the gradual discovery. Where do you live? Jesus, you live in me. You live in you. The mystery that God, that Jesus wants to live in each person. So it's a journey. Where do you live? The gradual discovering is he lives, he lives in me and he lives in you and we become friends. Then the discovery also that that presence to the Samaritan woman who was maybe one of the most humiliated people of the, of the gospel and he enters into a friendship with her. So everything is about entering into friendship, relationship, being with and discovering that each one of us we're called to be with Jesus and to meet other people so that they can also be with Jesus. My hopes for Lash is that we'll always eat together with people who have been made more fragile, have fun together and realize that this is a mission. It's about having fun with people who are different and discover that we're all loved by God. So I cannot say more than that because it's the work of God. But it'll always be the work of God if we remain together and have fun together and be friends together to create communities of celebration.